Welcome guys, the B-Man here, and welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. And this time, episode 4, in Sheep's Clothing is out. And, and uh, before we start, uh, I want to say something. Um, uh, to, uh, I just found out that I have reached 50 subscribers, and um, that, man, feels so great. <laughs> I'm so popular! I'm just kidding. I'm not popular. But, um, thank you guys for the support, and I, I really appreciate it, guys, uh, so, just keep showing me love, and, uh, all I, all I give you is all these enjoyable videos that, for you to watch, so, yeah, <laughs> so, thank you so much, thank you so much, and, uh, let's go into the episode full. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? A camera is missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shot with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And for me last time, too. Oh. Not even sinking. Big sink, I mean. How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Stupid brain. Damn. I got cat. <laughs> but, you know... Just... take him, okay? Take Crane! Aw, oh, shit, well, this is gonna be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. Yeah, whatever, bitch. I'll kill you, eventually. Plastic bag. Sorry about that. I got to remember to, to uh, shorten these uh, loading screens for you guys. Alright, I'm back at my apartment. So, let's see what happened. It's kind of loud in my ear, but. Bullets are a nasty I business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. <sighs> Easy there. Try not to move. Oh. Um, well, before we continue, I'll just read the Book of Hables before... I forget him. Oh shit, look at all this crap. Which I'm not gonna show you guys because I'm dead. I don't feel like it. <laughs> Alright, the silver bullet. Uh, weakness, the legends are great. Yeah, you guys can pause and read. I'm trying to read this too. Yeah. I guess it's this short I can read them. But oh. Pick me. We can't keep needing this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done with the my arm. Am I gonna be okay? Little I can do for the pain. You know what happened. Just stay still and let me finish. <laughs> Swinehart. How bad is it? Well, not the worst I've seen, but damn near it. 
I must say, you're testing even my skills here. Please, oh. Bigby, don't move it. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Man, the doctor is working in, in his suit like a boss. Set bone. Okay, there you go. Oh no. Oh no! Oh god. You. No. Hey. What is he trying to do? He's trying to break, like, um, like, bend it back or something like, uh, like that. Maybe put it back in his arm. do I suppose he's lucky to be alive and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this he didn't listen to me before maybe he'll listen to you I don't know about that it's the well, job you should. there are limits to what even this. I can do you know I can't hear you quiet just relax <laughs> Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind, we'd appreciate the headroom. Stick around, all right? I don't know if I trust this guy. Oh, please, I could do this with my optic nerves severed. We'll be down in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to hmm. be here right now. Is that now. a reference to something? Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. W with what? Your hooves? Hey, listen, please, lady. keep it down back there. Thank you. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that he would does. be helpful. <laughs> <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time. This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Oh, no. Miss White. He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure man, out what that a man. Means. He knows what it means. Actually, he's more than it's a man. Just he's been a beast! An unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep, mostly. Just keep watch, and make sure he doesn't get into further <laughs> still complications. Hear you. I can still hear you. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White, Sheriff, Colin. Swiney. Swiney's the killer! <laughs> right off the train again. So, how do you, um, feel it's big B snow he'll be okay shit don't worry about Hell, me I've seen him take worse not much worse not as good as can be expected I think so not well then you had us <clears throat> you had us worried there for a while you uh you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you 
like that. Don't, I don't and die easy. I'm here around. for you. You no, were he's really, never really worried. worried. And even he thought you were... I don't know. It was just awful. You were really worried about me? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying, I Damn, was worried about this all. The guy Ooh. hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? I need to get should I be trained. worried about this the crooked man taking now. over? Or is Crane still the thing? The crooked man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. <laughs> so he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder it. It was a split-second decision, and I don't care how it looked. I'd make it again and twice on Sunday. All right, I'm not faulting you. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got Snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin. What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. And Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is... Just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark. But clearly, he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff been going on? You know, I couldn't really give a shit what they want out of this. They just made the wrong fucking enemy. <sighs> Remember what Swinehart said, okay? The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. That, that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. A little restraint and thought behind things will never hurt anyone, Colin. Yeah, wait, what do you mean? What is this right way? We haven't been doing a good job. You and I. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried. By the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. Oh, we'll, it will. Monsters. Oh. The fight monsters. It has Colin, to happen at least one I more really time. I believe that bitch. If you needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this I'm not gonna get mad. Just let that side of you be done, okay? Be done and buried and we can all move on. I'm sure from your vantage point, it's extraordinarily easy to judge me. Big B. But you sit behind a desk all day. Day. Only tonight did you see what it's like to be pushed into uh, a corner uh, all the time just for doing your job. That wasn't you think I either. don't know what it's like to have my life in danger? To not be pushed to do things? I know what it's like. Oh God, I, I know what it's like to lie to yourself. To justify what you've done. So don't talk to me like I'm other people. Ooh. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. 
Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now. My work is Hell, sloppy. I'm practically the president of the Bigby. Don't Damn be it, should I, club. should I uh, but this snow is the a wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. Oh, well, at least someone understands. Thanks, oh. Colin. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking eyes. break. Oh. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. And what if a Mundy does see me, huh? I'm a pig, not a mouse with a hat and a cane. They know what a pig is. Uh, it's not the uh, I get it, I get it. It's Everyone the, just three mind down, mice right? or whatever. I'm perfectly calm. Uh, I'm not. Them. Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby? I tell you, you he can stay. Wolf's residence. Just that you're not That's the killer. Rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay. I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Who? Nerissa. Nerissa? Uh, that uh, broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. <coughs> Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. And what do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. Nothing. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. Mm. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Yeah. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. I need a drink. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, <coughs> Captain. She's a piece of work. <coughs> hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here, right? Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. Hell yeah. Bros for hoes. <laughs> Those pictures are the answers. Hmm. That was creepy. 